In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add and change backdrops so that you can change scenes in your Scratch projects. On this YouTube channel, I make coding tutorial videos just like this one, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing to help the channel out. By default, every new Scratch project comes with a blank stage, or backdrop. So in order to be able to change the backdrop, you have to add one or more new ones by hovering your mouse over the bottom right icon, and then you have the option of choosing a backdrop, painting one, getting a random backdrop, or uploading a picture to use as a backdrop. Let's choose one from the built-in library. Now that I've chosen the Baseball 1 backdrop, in the stage area you can see that it says Backdrops 2. If I click on the Backdrops tab, you'll see the backdrops that I have available to me in my project. The blank stage, the built-in one, and the baseball field. You might also notice that we now have another backdrop button that we can use here in the bottom left of the screen. For some reason in this menu system, you're also able to take a picture to use as a backdrop, which is not available if you use the icon all the way on the right in the stage area. Let's add one more backdrop and then get to coding. So I'm going to choose another backdrop, and this time I'm going to bring in Baseball 2, this second backdrop. Now I have to figure out what I want happening when the program starts. So I'm going to go back to my code tab, and when the program starts, so I'm going to use this hat block when the green flag is clicked, I want to change the look of the backdrop. So I'm going to switch to the specific backdrop that I want to see, which is Baseball 1. So let me run it, and it looks like it's working correctly. Notice that there are no motion blocks available. You don't have all of the blocks available to you when you're working with backdrops, as you do when you're adding code to a sprite. So let's add some code to sprite 1, that way we have a reason to switch backdrops. Let's make sure that he's in the right position over here in the batter's box. And what I want him to do when the program starts is say, I like baseball, watch me run around the bases. Then I want to switch backdrops and have the cat run around the bases. So let's switch the backdrop by using the switch backdrop block in the looks palette of the sprite. Let me see how this looks by running it. And I forgot to choose which backdrop to switch it to. So let me switch it to Baseball 2. Let me actually shorten the number of seconds that he says this for, just so we can test it a little bit faster. You may have noticed that when I ran this script, the backdrop was blank, and that's because I didn't actually click on the green flag button, which is the event that the backdrop is waiting for to switch to that first baseball field. Now at this point, I want the cat to start over here at home plate, so let me make sure that I go to motion and go to that exact location. Let me try testing this one more time. And you'll see that he's not in the correct place when I click on the green flag. So that means that I have to add a go to motion block and place the sprite where I want it to be initially. But the coordinates in there aren't correct. So let's fix that by dragging the sprite into the batter's box and then bringing a go to block just under the green flag hat block. So now when the program starts, the cat says this in the right position and goes to home plate. And what I'm going to have him do is quickly glide to three other places before returning home. And I think that should do it. Let's test it out. Perfect. And with that, you've now seen one way of switching a backdrop. I could have also used other events to trigger the backdrop change, such as using a broadcast and a receive inside of the staging area, or maybe had a key press change the backdrop, or maybe even used a weight block, but that would have been a little bit more inefficient. For the purposes of this demonstration, having the sprite actually change the backdrop itself was perfectly fine. If you found this video to be helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you next time.